This is my son Miles when he was six weeks old. I took Miles hiking with me everywhere. As he became a teenager, he was no longer interested in hiking with me, but he still loved camping. And he agrees to this day to an annual wilderness trip with his father. I look forward all year to our summer adventures. This is the story of our llama trip over the Dutch Miller Gap. I woke up early again and went and sat down by the river to take a few photos and freshen up. I fed the llamas their grain and cooked Miles and I some breakfast while he packed up. We didn't start until around 11 a.m. Today was going to be a short day on the Dutch Miller Gap Trail to Camp Pedro. This was our first venture into the actual wilderness, up trails that I had been on recently, but was unsure how the llamas would do. Things didn't start off so well. Okay, trying to get llamas to walk steps. Here, come on, come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good boy. Whoops, don't, don't, hey, 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 hey. Get, settle down. Just step up one step at a time. Okay, come on. Step up. Look, you got it, there you go. There you go, put your foot there. Here you go, come on. No, no, don't kneel. Come on, put your foot up. Oh. The problem seemed to be that their feet could slide between the steps and that freaked them out. So I filled in the holes with old rotted steps that were laying around. But it wasn't really working. and I was getting worn out from pulling llamas and llamas pulling me. All right, I spent 20 minutes fighting the llamas, trying to get them to walk up the steps. One of them did, and the other one I finally had to find a way down and across the creek. Hopefully, that is the last episode of today. Oh, so, that gap is too narrow for the llama to feel comfortable. Less than a mile. And we've already dropped the packs twice. So, we gotta lead them up and around, which, all things considered, is pretty easy. So, no complaints. Just slows you down. We're eating. Miles is not happy. I'm videoing him. A large tree had fallen across the trail which had limbs hanging off and it required some clearing so the llamas could pass underneath. A massive old-growth cedar had fallen across the trail. Come on. 
Come on, step up here. Come on. Come on. We. All right, come here. We're going down. Holy. Easy for humans to walk over. The llamas didn't like the unstable footing. So once again, I dropped their packs and led them down through the brush, around the tree, and back up to the trail. Here, fill that up. Drink that up and I'll fill it up again. Mm -hmm. Feel good? Arriving at Camp Pedro, we put the llamas out to pasture and I cleaned off in the creek. Oh, the bugs are bad. Bad, bad, bad. We set up camp and retreated into our tent to escape the bugs. All right, we got some pasta, beef pasta marinara. And Miles is having the usual beef stroganoff. After dinner, I took a few photos of Little Big Chief reflected in the pond at Pedro's camp. And we settled in for the night.